There's now a crypto rehab, and look, people can become addicted to anything these days, and crypto is just a new problem that some people face. A castle in Scotland which has been helping people overcome all different types of addictions since 1988 has developed a niche for crypto addiction. Therapist Anthony Marini, who is a recovering gambling addict of 16 years, told Decrypt.co that it can be difficult for crypto obsessed to admit they're hooked or put stigmatized label of gambling on the practice. And before anyone says, well, crypto is not quite the same as many of the other addictions out there, they give a pretty strong example. Crypto addict Steven, who is 49, whose addiction started with simple stocks trading a few years ago and in 2015 he turned to Bitcoin. He was jobless by 2019. Here's his account of his addiction. You can use sleep deprivation, nutrition depletion, and then substanize nutrition and then use a substance to cancel out the hallucinogenic aspect of sleep deprivation. At some point your focus is so late alike that you just cannot help but figure it out, he said. Steven's a former tunnel miner who claims to have lost hundreds of Bitcoin, including a hard drive with access to an alleged 20 tokens, now lost somewhere in Thailand. Those 20 Bitcoins is now worth well over $1 million at today's rate. Luckily for him, he does get to save some money on the rehab as it's covered under the national health system in the UK. Like many crypto addicts, his addiction to crypto led him to take drugs to keep himself going. And his methods for investing his crypto were pretty wild. He used numerology as well as Viking mythology, he claimed, to help navigate the market. And the effects of the addiction mirror other types of addiction that you might not expect, including withdrawals. Anthony, the therapist, went on to say they're constantly on their phone, on their laptop, on the computer, whatever, watching the prices of these cryptocurrencies going up and down. And it's almost a withdrawal when you take that phone off them or the computer. They get anxiety, palm sweats and panic attacks. Many of the crypto addicts actually go to the rehab for other addictions and when they get to the bottom of what caused it, they discover their addictions are built off their crypto addiction. Which Anthony explained is what happened to Steven. He came in for drugs and alcohol and he thought crypto was what he was going to go back to. But we have to be very careful that cryptocurrency doesn't take people back into trying to escape their difficult emotions through drugs and alcohol. According to the therapist, this is a much bigger issue and we don't hear about a lot of people who are suffering because they are too ashamed. He said they feel so guilty that they don't want to be talking about it. They feel stupid. A lot of people like to pick on crypto, but I think there's a huge difference between buying on at least some level of information and at least some level of reasoning or analysis to explain why you believe any type of investment will go up. But if you're just buying and selling because you think or hope it will, regardless of what you are investing in, crypto or otherwise, it's still realistically gambling. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, chuck me a like and subscribe for more like it. And as always, good luck. If you made it this far, you'll enjoy one of these other videos too.